plenty never ends as you can see we are getting ready to go and deliver some of the other containers that we put together for our community um, this is one of the last ones I'm putting together right now last minute just because you know um, the person that has sent us some containers um, I had some extra one from her so little man over here her son decided that you know there's some extra plants let's go ahead and put some more pretty i really want her to have some extra purple with the artist blue here and you saw me also plant some of the super tunia magenta and of course lemon coral sedum that I, I just love to use with everything so that's what we're doing today you're gonna see us right now we're gonna head on on over to um two homes so i'm excited for that you're gonna see us go ahead and deliver two containers today um i'm super excited as always and of course, little man wanted to make sure that I let you know that he had planned these containers, this container for, for them. Okay, so we'll see you soon. So we have arrived and here is the spot for this gorgeous container for Prince Tut. How gorgeous is that? Perfect. And I had mentioned that I went ahead and squeezed in an extra plant in this container which is a new coleus from Proving Winners, the uh, El Brido. I just thought that, you know, it would look really pretty with an extra, with something extra in here, more color. And of course, the coleus will do great in there because it loves water too. So, you know, as long as everything is draining well, it will be perfect in there. So as you can see, this family loves to garden and I love it so much. As we arrived, I just had a big smile. We already went and did a whole full blown little walk to the backyard. She has a gorgeous garden and I'm going to go ahead and let you see a little bit of what she has growing on on the side. And I'm, I'm going to have to do a tour later on because her garden is gorgeous. It's so pretty. And the colors are perfect too. They're gonna go with the container that we put together. I had no idea what color she was using, but it all blends in perfectly with the container that we just put together for her. How gorgeous is that? So a lot of people say that, you know, it's really hard to grow super bells, but look at that one right there. And that is gorgeous. That's a great example of growing super bells. They're all on their own. And many times that's a great way to grow them just by themselves. And you know, they only take the water that they're asking for and that's it because they really don't like a lot of water. So being growing them in baskets, it's a great way to go. So you can, you know, have a, um, um, be able to um, succeed with super bells. So I can keep going with her garden. I love it so much. Um, we're gonna keep coming, you know, as the season um, goes by and to show you what's happening. And hopefully soon we can do a little garden tour because what she has back there is a little oasis. I really want to share it with you all. Okay, so um, we'll be going to the next house and we'll show you the next containers where we're going to put them. This is the second home that we're doing today and the containers are here and how awesome do they look huh these are the teal containers how beautiful do are they looking with the caladiums these are the new caladiums the clowning around heart to heart caladiums they're new for this uh um, out in garden centers this year new how gorgeous is that gonna look and this is what i wanted y'all to see the lighting this is our second time around doing containers for the same area and i'm so happy because the, the first time, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna call it a fail. There wasn't that, you know, we didn't know there wasn't that much um, um, sun in this area. So these plants cannot fail at all. Um, we have lemon coral sedum. We have a sun patient that loves the sun and the shade. And then we have a coleus, which y'all know coleus, the new coleus, the new varieties from permanent winners, those take sun and, and, um, and shade as well. All this will work just perfect in this area. And yet we can see right now that pretty lighting I don't know if Ambrose can capture that. If he's capturing it, is, is it dap, like dapple light? Yep. So it's perfect. So we're going to go ahead and feed them. We have in here the liquid fertilizer. I'm going to do half and half. 
And like I said, we're gonna be doing this once a week and we're gonna be coming around every, every weekend to give them their, their feeding. And that should be it. All right, so two weeks ago we delivered these containers and here we are two weeks later. We decided to end that video when we delivered those containers because the rain just now has been cooperating with us and that delays a lot of the projects we have going on. So here we are continuing this. Uh, this. Yeah, we've had rain I think since, right now is a weekend. So yeah. I think it's been raining since Friday evening. Yeah. Um, we have been doing a little bit here and there, but I, I wanted to talk about, you know, delivering the containers, how you got to see us. Um, taking those and by now you know like Ambrose said it's been two weeks and they yeah. have grown we've we've already seen pictures they've, they've sent us pictures we've already gone to do you know fertilizing too oh, yeah. so we've been able to see how much they're growing you do want to see the containers right now what they're actually looking like visit on Facebook and, and Instagram because they have sent us some pictures yeah we we'll put them on stories and you know on I think we have one or two on yeah we have one on or two on there um, but yeah, it, it's just been so exciting, you know, and really nice, like the teal containers. I just love it. It's so special to be able to go back. We did those last year. Yeah. So it's, very, it's been very special to be able to go back, you know, to, oh, yeah. to the same home and, you know, try it out again. And I think I want some teal containers now. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it, it's pretty exciting when we do these deliveries because you get to see the excitement on their face and on our face as well. Yeah. And as Angie said, we did a, a small little tour at one of those gardens. Yeah. So it was pretty pretty awesome to be able and, to see that. What was so cool about the, the tour, you know, touring the, the little, you know, the garden was that it's been a while since we've gone out, you know, with everything that's going on to head out and actually, um, you know, go and visit gardens. So this was for us really our first time in a long time venturing out to see yeah. somebody's garden. So it was really nice and hopefully we get to tour that one later on and show it to you guys on video. Oh yeah, definitely. So I did want to talk about the fertilizing, but because it's been raining, we haven't been able to fertilize for the last couple of days. We're trying to do it every once a week because we're actively going out and doing it ourselves, but it's preferred to do it every third watering is what we do here in our garden. But again, because we're doing it, we're doing it once a week. Today is a rainy day. We didn't go out this morning to get the fertilizing done. So I did want to touch on that as far as uh, we did have questions on fertilizing. Yes. What do we do when it rains? What we normally do when it rains is we do not fertilize because once those containers are soaked with with uh, with water, your soil is going to be completely soaked with with, uh, with water. So anything you add to that soil is just going to run completely through. So those plants are not going to absorb that fertilization. We have a frog over here that's kind of annoyed because we're out here making yeah, some noise. Yeah, the froggy. But uh, with that fertilization, we just wait till the next day when it's dry again, and that'll be the first watering. That way, it absorbs that fertilization. Yeah, we'll just pick up, you know, maybe tomorrow yep. if it doesn't rain, or we'll just pick up on regular schedule how we have it and we'll just continue also the good thing that it has slow release in there that's what we first planted with so yeah. it's still feeding them it's just you know the liquid fertilizer is that extra boost yeah so you know, for so, the annuals so doing the containers is pretty awesome i know angie they want to talk about what we have going on back here yeah, as well a little bit of what we're doing here so um while it was raining you know the girls helped me out here to transplant two hydrangeas with this yeah. is the little lime and this is um a limelight. limelight hydrangea and i all we did was switch them from here but you know we couldn't have the camera out how it was raining so the girls just helped me move these guys over here yeah. and um what i did want to mention was you know sometimes it you know it gets late for one to to move things it's, it's already heating up for oh, us yeah. a little yeah. bit so when that happens a lot of the plants especially like yeah. you know bushes like this like hydrangeas they feel it so you do, you know, we do use the Spoma Organic, you know, um, um, biotone, the biotone, which that helps, you know, with transplant yep. shock um, for the roots. Um, but it also helps when it's raining for us. Yeah. So I take advantage of transplanting whatever I can when it's Definitely. raining because the weather is a little cooler and the plants are just going to receive all the water that they can. And they're happy, like, you know, yeah. they took it well. And speaking of cooler, I know that everybody's excited about a tour here in the Secret Garden because that's one yes. of our most popular videos from last year. And as you can see, everything's nice and green and lush because of the rain. And it does get a little bit cooler back here, so it makes it easier, like, like Angie said, to transplant back here because the climate is completely different back here. It's the north side. And so like, uh, we're definitely excited to bring a tour for the Secret Garden because it's, it's one of definitely one of our favorite spots, again, with all this green lush, and we do have a pop of color Ambers here will there. have, you know, uh, he'll pop up a yeah. few, you know, little things here and there so y'all can see what's already happening in, in the garden. We're still not done, you know, we're still gonna 
put more color yeah. in here, like annual color, just to help out. And then we'll let y'all know, you know, what what's coming back and what's not and what's worrying us and Definitely. what's making us super happy in here. Yep. So that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. I know the containers is a pretty awesome uh, thing to be doing here in the community. And if you guys want to donate or anything like that to continue these container plantings, possibly for next year, or maybe something for these families in fall, you can do that by hitting the thanks button and donating whether you want to or not, or sharing the videos, subscribing, liking. It's going to benefit anyone and everyone that's involved with this yeah. channel. So that's pretty much going to do it yeah, for the, the video, the, guys. I, I just wanted to say, yeah, so that way we can continue and it can grow into yeah. something, you know. Maybe we can do a lot more houses next year because yeah. It becomes addicting. You just want to go and pretty up everybody's home, you know? Yep. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.